Hello, my name is Dmitry, and we continue to build an e-commerce website that will go into production. In this part, we will work on edge cases. We will add no found page and error boundaries. But first of all, we will migrate NX to latest version. It will be NX migrate latest. I'm not gonna connect it to CI. Okay, NPMI. And let's update next just to the latest version. Let's check if we're still able to run it. Also I spotted the warning it says that I can use just next font and not the specific package for that. So I'll delete the package. Let's check if I'm still able to run it. No model called Narval Webpack. Now let's install it. It should be development dependency. Okay, one more slash was there. Let's check if we're still good. Looks now okay. We successfully ran on localhost, means we're good. Let's now add a not found page. Here's design for that. That's a will be no found page. Here's our error boundaries to hold whatever we got error in. Yeah, what I spotted, we have a same button. I can extract it to shared components. And we have a button that will be most product button. Let's get into here and just cut it and paste it into shared components let's rename it to just button and uh, that should be it let's check if the uh, button still works yep it's in place now we have shared button we have not found page in our application we should get into app folder and just put it under root directory and we will have it it will be just a simple page with a logo some 404 text and some warning text and uh, we will have a button on it basically which will redirect us to the root or if we have a locale here to the root with locale pretty basic stuff let's check if it works uh, let's get into whatever uh, doesn't have root layout so yeah i should supply a root layout in here i should create new file called layout.sx and it will be export default function index but root layout which will accept I guess children and we'll return and we good on that yep good but um having no styles no tailwind styles on, on the root layout so i should move my styles from here to the actual root layout and maybe just like that let's restart it now we get it and it even works one more thing i need today it's a error boundary i'll create error component inside shared components and it will be 
pretty much the same as nofound I would say it's uh, some error component that gets some um, props that onclick prop which is function and uh, we have a logo some text and on click on click we will do a funny thing here uh, I'm not sure if it should be use client just keep it for now just like that and I should do the following inside the product page I have an um, layout and page itself and page itself contains some logic and I'm afraid that uh, something can go wrong and I'll prove it could uh, here I just do the following I'll create error component called just error and if something happens on a page it will be replaced by my error component and the error component will export default function um, called error yeah just like that and it accepts um, um, let's get into docs actually and uh, how error handling works it's just uh, we have an error component here and if page uh, fails to process something to do something like something of undefined or whatever not handled uh, error component will be rendered and error component is just an uh, client set component which accepts an error what happened on your page and the reset button which uh, on click on that it uh, attempt to recover trying to re-render the segment and we will do that let's copy it over just paste it in and uh, I'm not gonna use use effects and uh, I'll actually return just my error component which on click will do reset and that's it let's try to make an error uh, for example in here um, let's mess up our state it will be undefined or yeah, actually just empty and inside here let's try to get into page and as you can see whoops something went wrong and we got our save state with our error boundary i'll try again and it's not again resolved but if user basically mess it up uh, trying again will may help and uh, if we'll get back here we still have our error but let's render that voila we got it back we good so pretty useful stuff to use those error boundaries in your application. It's not gonna handle everything that happens on your page and some of uh, interactions and stuff you should uh, handle yourself because under the hood it's basically React error boundaries and those are not catching those errors. That's uh, inside event handlers, asynchronous code, server side and uh, error tone in the error boundary itself. So those are, you should handle yourself. So that was it for this part and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.